Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. Back in the store. This is just a quick update video. I want you guys to be full. I want you guys to be well informed. I guess that's my job as a community contributor and and just a YouTuber who likes this game and uh, wants to get the, the good information out there. Um, if you open up your store, there was a little notification that said new. Um, and I actually didn't know this. I don't know why Wargaming didn't tell us or they did and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I, I tend not to pay attention to the cosmetics as much as like the new ships. Uh, I'm more of a historical guy, but um, the commanders are actually really worth it in terms of the Azure Lane. Um, so we have the Azure Lane back in the store. Uh, we've got Azure 1, Azure 2, uh, and, and don't, if you really want this, this uh, like all the ships, you can get the Otago. All these are camos, um, just so you guys know. And I actually have all these turned off, so for me it's not even close to worth it. Um, the containers, I believe you just get the either the camos themselves or um, the, the commanders. So if you want to roll the dice, um, I, I think, here, let's let's look at, uh, let's go to Azure 1. Yeah, you can buy the command, the captain itself for 5,000 doubloons, or you can buy the crates for 2,500 apiece. Um, uh, where are they? There you go. So you can roll the dice with getting a multitude of, of different commanders, um, or you can roll the dice for the ones you want. I do believe I actually want Nelson, uh, and I think Belfast? Otago is the detectability of their torpedoes. E Some of these have really good... Yeah, so if you're a destroyer player, this might be a good inspiration. You can decrease the detectability of your torpedoes. Um, I also believe Nelson is a very good commander for the British battleships. Um, you can just go to them, and you can press X, incoming damage for your battleship brawler. Yeah, this is a good one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and maybe purchase this one, just to show you guys uh, as an example. I, I don't even know why I purchased that, uh, just to show you guys real quick. I believe Wargaming can uh, just put it in my cart. But the one that is really important, uh, there's also these ships, but we'll go back over that. The one that is really important um, to me, anyway, is uh, Sharnhorst. One, mainly because her big boobies, but also because um, her trait decreases your dispersion. Um, and that is a good thing. Dispersion is pretty much your accuracy in this game, as well as shell grouping. There's a combination of the two. Uh, but dispersion is of utmost importance uh, in terms of battleships and cruisers, really. Destroyers is not in, as important. Um, but this is just a very good overall commander, especially for German battleships, uh, and even cruisers if you really wanted it to. But mainly for brawling German battleships, it's it's a good it's a good mixed and, and, and cross build. But her dispersion trait is one of the best in the game. Now there's a lot of others. Uh, Queen Elizabeth I thought was going to be really good, but if even if you buff all of these perks, you only get like a two percent. Uh, she she does a lot of stuff for battleships, but it's only like one percent, two percent max. So I thought she was going to be more useful, but yeah. Um, Graf Spee, I think, is, uh, yeah, that's, that's not too important, and then, um, Baltimore is, is a pretty good American cruiser commander. Uh, I ran her for, on the Pensacola for Arena when it was, when it was Tier 5. The AP Absolute is, is pretty nice for preventing overpens. It's pretty good on, um, the Baltimore class cruiser itself, but just wanted to give you guys that quick update. Here is kind of the overview. Um, we also have the ships. Last thing, you can buy, if you really want to wallet your way to tier 7. I don't recommend that unless you already have a tier 7 ship and you know what it entails. Um, if you buy this ship and then throw yourself into tier 7 without playing more than 4 battles, uh, you're not going to be having fun, you're not going to understand the game, and you're not your teammates are not going to enjoy it. Um, but this is the, it's the same thing as the Baltimore. I don't know if it got the buff that the Baltimore got for some reason, but... Yeah, <laughs> in the chat there cracking me up. We also have the Fuso and the Queen Elizabeth and then the camos. Again, guys, I'm not really a huge cosmetic person in terms of these camos. I just, I turn them off personally. It makes it harder to aim. Uh, there's only a few camos that really do that. Um, and to me, it's a it's a competitive advantage if you want to put them on. But I also turn it off um, just to, to, for example, if we look at the graph speed here, I, I don't know where the, the front plating ends and begins. And especially with the space ones, I, I just turn it off. It's a distraction for me. Um, and I like a little more authentic feel to the game. Some of the camos, like the the, uh, the historical camos, those look really cool. Those are well done. Uh, the ice camos, that's that's kind of unique and doesn't really take away from the game. But other than that, yeah, I, I tend to avoid um, leaving any of those really weird cosmetics on. So again, make sure you, you know what you're getting. I, I just wouldn't go and hit spend on 37,000 doubloons on just camos and then eight crates. 
Uh, to me, that is a gigantic waste of money. And if you don't have the ship, you don't get the ship. You just get the cam the permanent camo for it. So you would need to spend either money or uh, global XP to get that ship. Or in the Hipper's case, just grind to the tier 7 ship. But a lot of these are pretty good ships to dunk her at tier 5. Uh, that is actually the only premium ship I sold a long time ago. And I need to tell Wargaming to give it back. You can, you can create tickets for that, by the way. So if you sell a ship by mistake, let them know. Um, there's like a little ticket process and someone can link it for me, but yeah, there it is um, All these skins and the crates. This is the first lane uh, the first round um, I don't think there's any other better ones Tago's decent. I forget what Belfast is. Let's check her out real quick Yeah, this one is uh, These ha half of them are good half of them are eh. But uh, hood is a good one and as well as um, we just bought what's her name? Uh, Nelson so that is the brief update just wanted to get that guys out there and, and give you a heads up um, So you're not missing out like I said the, the one for me. That's kind of a must-has is uh, Sharnhorst she decreases your dispersion and that is a great attribute for pretty much any cruiser and or Battleship uh, main I don't use her on like American cruisers because your dispersion is already some of the best, but Yep Well, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative and I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, let everyone know. I don't know how long they're going to be here for. I'm guessing a week. I'm guessing the uh, Kong versus Godzilla is not filling the coffers enough, so they needed to drop these. But it is a decent check, uh, decent purchase, a uh, use of gold if if you uh, take this game a little more seriously than than people just having quote unquote fun. June 28th is when it ends, so two weeks. Thank you for that, military. Someone in my chat. S Peak is inviting me five times. Guys, that is the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good night, everyone. Hey, run out. Peace.